Hey guys, so I promised you an unboxing um, and then I kind of went ghost <laughs> and then I went ahead and opened everything. So what you're going to see right now is really just um, a second unboxing because I have opened every single one of these perfumes and I smell them, but let's do it again and again and again and again. So the first one, I have wanted um, two other Kaolis in my collection for the longest time, and I finally got them. So I bought these when they were on sale at Sephora. This is Kaoli Deja Vu White Flowers. Oh my gosh. This is nostalgia in a bottle. This smells like your Chanel it's just so beautiful and it is rather very mature so be careful if you're not into that you're not going to like this at all uh here are the notes but i really enjoy it i'm gonna keep it i only got a 50 mil and i'm glad that i got a 50 mil and not 100 mil so yeah and then we have this one now this one i just smelled this morning um and this is just a sample from sephora i got all of these from sephora by the way if you can't tell by the box but uh, i love this fragrance okay i absolutely love it however it's not an original if you have flower bomb if you have black opium mix those two together and you're gonna get this is this a lot cheaper than flower bomb and black opium absolutely i don't have flower bomb in my collection but i have gotten plenty of samples and decans of it i just don't think that it's a perfume that i need to have but this this is it's on my skin right now let me go ahead and spray it again this is such an affordable designer perfume scent this is only 24 dollars. so guys go pick this up go pick it up if you like flower bomb if you like black opium if you like um sensual amber by bath and body works like if you like all these types of perfumes let me go ahead and show you the notes right here i'm not gonna read them because you guys can just read them yourselves um but this is stunning. Is it redundant? Yes. Is it beautifully done and affordable redundant? Yes. <laughs> so I'm glad to have it in my collection. I don't regret it at all. This is, um, I really, really wish that they would bring this out in the bigger size though, because I'm going to fly through this because I'm just going to wear it. I'm actually going to wear this today. to a concert that I have. So yeah. Now the next one is... Let me just go ahead and show you. This is Floral Street. Let me move this out of the way. This is Floral Street Wild Vanilla Orchid. This is actually a birthday gift for a friend. So, but I have been testing it, obviously, because it's perfume. I mean, come on. Um, And it comes packaged like this. I think this packaging is kind of interesting. Although at first it kind of looked like, <laughs> look, this is what this should look like at first. It just looks like a bowl, like a Chipotle bowl or something, but whatever. This is what the bottle looks like. It's super cute. I got hurt on my thumb, so my thumb is just looking a little rough, but this is what the packaging is giving. And this is the back. The only thing I hate is this freaking cap. Now, I had to keep this cap off because it's just really, really tight and hard to put back on and take off. And it also scratched the back of the fucking bottle the first time that I pulled it off. So, I hate this cap. Like, come on, guys. This is 80-something dollars. Fix it. Anyways, it smells okay um it's really a green fragrance it's not my type of perfume like i said it is for a gift um but she's gonna love it if you think that this is a if you're 
thinking that this is going to be like a warm gourmand vanilla. It is absolutely not. This is reminiscent of Poets of Berlin perfume. Um, this is a green vanilla. You will get a lot of green, like a cactus smelling burst of greenness at first and then 30 to 45 minutes later it dries down to a um smooth vanilla orchid so it is not your typical you know gourmand vanilla here are the notes right here well this isn't the notes but yeah yeah it is this is here are the notes um and i just think it's kind of it's beautiful i think it's beautiful so if you're into that go ahead and check it out and it was really affordable too i paid i think like 66 dollars for it during the sephora sale so sephora snuck in a sale over labor day they had um uh goddess alien goddess for the full size which is usually like 180 it was like 126 if i didn't already have that fragrance i would have bought it and if i didn't want to just explore a new scents i totally would have bought another backup bottle because that's such a good deal and i haven't seen that in so long uh hopefully there are some good deals for christmas um that's one of the reasons why i didn't buy it either i just wanted to to you know get some other deals but yeah so i think this is really cute um i i want to explore more floral street perfumes i think they are an affordable niche um fragrance house and i'm glad i got to try my first one and i'm glad that it was this one so i love it now let me put this fucking case back which is so weird and then this bullshit cap i hate this cap so much and the next one that i have i actually have two more but i wore one yesterday and it's in my purse which i left in my car so which I don't normally do, but that purse was so heavy. It's my work bag and I have my computer and everything in there and I just did not feel like carrying it back upstairs. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to get this shit later because I had food to carry and, you know, priorities. Um, so the next one that I bought is another Kayali. Shocker. I love Kayali fragrances, by the way, guys. I will do a Kayali um, collections video actually let me just go ahead and pull it out right now <laughs> and show you my kaolis we're not gonna you know what fuck it let me just show you hold on i'm walking to my closet my perfume closet and i'm grabbing my kaolis i'm putting them on the bed Oh, the bottles are so beautiful. That's really how they get women, is by creating these feminine, delicious bottles. So let's actually talk about the new one, and then I'll show you a sneak peek of my Kaoli collection. Because I want you to come back, you know? Got to leave something to the imagination. <laughs> or something to look forward to. <laughs> now, I just took this out of the box. This is Invite Only Amber. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay, invite only Amber. It comes like this. You take it out. Uh, here's the back. Here are the notes on the back. So these, the older perfumes don't have the notes on the back like the new perfumes. Oh, you can see me. No, I don't want you to see me. Um, just because I look like crap, not because I'm hiding but yeah so this is invite only amber this one this one is a little hard to love i'm not gonna lie it's a little hard to love because it is not your typical um your typical amber perfume there's a ton of tobacco so let me tell you what i get it smells like a delicious like a delicious heavy dark rum sweet drink right i don't know if you guys have ever um gone to the bar and you see you know this this man sitting at the bar with like a beautiful black suit on and he is sipping a 
delicious cocktail in like one of those Killian cocktail glasses. Um, the ones, cause you know, the Killian bottles look like cocktails. <laughs> that's what I meant. And that's what this smells like. This smells like a black tie unisex fragrance, even though it is, um, geared towards women, but this is absolutely unisex. I can see my man wearing this. I can see, you know, the man at the bar wearing this. It is just a, it is just a beautiful cocktail fragrance. Like I smell the tobacco. I smell rum. So there's black cherry, honey, tobacco leaf, amber, vanilla. Those are the main notes. Um, so they usually put the main notes on the back. The rest of the notes will be on for Gransica. But these are the main notes. And I just smell a beautiful, delicious cocktail. But it's also kind of off-putting because I wasn't expecting to get something so masculine-leaning. Um... I thought it was going to be like a beautiful, sexy amber. And also, this does smell very mature. But I can also see a 18-year-old college student who is studying like literature and who lives in London and it's always dreary and dark. I can totally see an 18 year old like that wearing this and just wearing it so beautifully. So um, hopefully that helps you. <laughs> I don't know if I was confusing with my description, but Kaoli perfumes in general, they are it's a niche fragrance house okay um they only make perfumes yeah she's under the umbrella of huda beauty but they only make perfumes and they do smell niche like you are not going to get your typical um vanilla for example right like this vanilla 28 is so complex to me it's so stunning. It's so, so, so beautiful. I love this. This is a repurchase for the rest of my life. And look at my bottle. The juice has darkened so much. I love this. I love it. This is my first love. And then my second love was actually Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. This was my second love, okay? Um this one is just really intense and then you can see the notes on the back that i showed you like this is heavy on the patchouli though if you are not into patchouli that's this isn't for you and the reason why a lot of people were let down initially by this perfume is because they thought that it was going to be light on the patchouli but the patchouli is in the title it says vanilla royale sugared patchouli like the patchouli is in the title you're gonna get patchouli <laughs> it wasn't an ambiguous thing and then, of course, my new addition, um, Deja Vu Bright Flowers. I love, look how stunning these bottles look, especially when you put them together. Like, oh, oh my gosh. And then my, so these are my full bottles, by the way. And I do want to get the, the whole thing. Like, I want to get the entire collection. I don't care. And then I have Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Ladies. Mm, ladies. This is better than Oud Satin Mood. This is giving Oud Satin Mood, but better. Oud Satin Mood by MFK is one of those super sexy, like dark, chic perfumes. And it is a love for me. However, the price is just a little, ugh, you know, like I'd rather get maybe a Bond number no. 9 fragrance instead of that. Um... But if you want an alternative, a sweet alternative, get this one. Get Sweet Diamond. You would love it. It is, it is rose. It is moody. It is sweet. It is, you smell the saffron. You smell the pink pepper. Like, oh. And then I'm really, really upset because I didn't get the wedding um six silk santal so i'm just waiting for them to make it permanent because everyone is asking for it so i just have the baby bottles this is the wedding six silk santal and then the velvet one you can tell i just i i'm loving this and i'm so scared to run out so i'm not gonna spray it i'm not gonna wear it anymore not really anyways 
I'll just like take little hits of it. <laughs> like some kind of addict i'm just gonna take like little little hits so that i don't run out and you know what's what's amazing this velvet pairs so perfectly with silk santal like you just spray however much you want of this and then maybe like three sprays of the velvet and it's stunning so this is my kaoli collection i have um musk 12 in the um in the dual perfume pen thing that they came out and i also have um utopia vanilla cocoa in a travel size and then i have um and then that's it so the only one out of the line i smelled every single one of them by the way the only one that i don't like and that i will I'll probably get it in my collection just to have it, but I don't. It's not my kind of fragrance. I just don't gravitate towards it. Um, and also, it reminds me of another perfume. Um, is Elixir. The one in that dark bottle. So, Elixir is not for me. I will get it in my collection after I've gotten my Silk Santal. And after I've gotten um, the... The one in the light green bottle and after i've gotten my velvet santal um and then after i've gotten a full bottle of the utopia vanilla because i really really do like that one so yeah so that is my unboxing and then the rest really in here is really just like samples so i have a coco mademoiselle sample right here uh, phantom sample let me open this up actually let's see okay so this is phantom by paco raban i don't think i've ever smelled this should we smell this together let's do it i'm gonna use this lid oh that's like your it's like your typical man fragrance. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Whatever. And then I have this sample. Be Nice by Sunday Riley. Um, it's a serum. I'll try it. I'm not big into skincare. I'm very basic when it comes to skincare. Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. Another sample. And I'm glad to have two coco mademoiselle samples because it's not a perfume that i hate but i also don't really want a full bottle so i'm really happy about this um, and then laura mercier this is actually a generous sample oh i wonder if this color will actually match me i think it might it might be a little too dark but we'll see this is what it looks like the color that they sent me is does it say it on here a uh, sepia i don't know it might be too dark um i can't open it so i'm gonna have to deal with this later my the only foundation that i really love is uh the fenty and i also really love Oh, and I bought a lipstick, but this lipstick is fucking terrible. <laughs> like, it's ju it just makes me look ashy. It's just not my color. Like, my white friend will definitely love this. So, I think I'm going to give this to her. Like, she's like a pale um, person, and she'll just love it. But, yeah, that's it. I don't think there's any... Oh, there's another sample in here. So, this is the Josie Martin um, eye cream. I mean, I try and I actually wear all my samples, so these are not going to go to waste. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is the unboxing. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me put this in the pile. <laughs> and then Floral Street, the vanilla is going to go. Well, yeah, let's put it right here so you guys can see everything. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging with me. At some point, my phone started to tilt. So if you notice that, don't come for my life. Okay, just watch the video, like it. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed all the chatting. 
and come back for more like it please so that i'm encouraged to post <laughs> all right later let me go enjoy all my goodies